Hello sailors, this is the Dodger Kebab, and most gaming content on this platform is utter garbage now. It's like one big race to the bottom and everyone competing is a word I can't say until YouTube's pathetic 15 second rule has been allowed to tick over. There we go, they're all a bunch of pricks. Now instead of making a needlessly long intro to pad this out before getting to the actual video topic that you wanted to see, I'd just say that there are still some good YouTubers out there. They are diamonds in a sea of shit. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give a shout out to some of these guys who haven't sold their soul to the algorithm devil. But let's get on with the shitty content that needs to stop. What the fuck is the point in pickup videos? Seriously, what is the fucking point in a video where some idiot shows game boxes to a camera for 15 minutes? You're sitting there and watching the result of someone's shopping trip. That's what these videos are. Some prick went to a shop, bought stuff, and now you're sitting there watching this dickhead unload his bags. You're not watching a review or tips and tricks guides or getting any sort of useful information. You're watching someone unloading their shopping. They've got nothing useful to say about these games and do you know why that is because they haven't played them they've only just bought them now i'm not a fan of game room tours either but i understand why they exist people put a lot of effort into something and they want to show it off because they're proud i get that but we don't need separate videos showing the boxes of some games you'll probably never play which you only got to bulk up your gaming wall because you'll probably never open them again which is a nice segue to the next section Why the fuck did these videos exist? Hey, you wanna see me take this out of the box? No! Why would I want to watch this? This isn't deal or no deal. I know it's in the box. There's a picture of it on the box. And it says in the video title what you're unboxing. What is the content here? Watching some prick take something out of the box and looking at the packaging? The manufacturer intended you to throw that shit in the bin. Not point a camera at it while you talk about the feel of the cardboard, you wanker. YouTube videos should be fun, entertaining and informative. Watching some idiot take 15 minutes to open a box which someone else could do in 10 seconds is bullshit lazy content. So you haven't bought anything to shove in front of a camera and you haven't got a box to open. Well, you could always just try making shit up. Just invent a problem and do a video about how shitty the thing you just thought up is. Take one of the most recent examples which thankfully got called out on. The problem with retro gaming. Textbook shitty clickbait thumbnails. Picture of presenter's stupid face on one side and giant bullshit headline on the other. I watched the video in the middle for the purposes of fact find in this video section and not only did i have to watch over half the video's runtime length just to get to the fucking point guess what the problem was someone left a shitty comment under a photo on facebook that's it oh well better make some huge narrative up that doesn't exist just to get some click revenue and really that was the video a photo of people playing a cloned console drove some muppet to comment that unless you're playing on original hardware you're not getting the proper experience now obviously that commenter doesn't know what they're talking about i've long since sold all my retro stuff and i didn't mind selling it you know why because retro arc does the same damn thing if you actually think playing fucking quack shot on an actual mega drive is different in any way to playing on an emulator then you don't know what you're talking about that's all that needs to be said you don't need to ramble on for 10 minutes and invent some huge problem over a comment on Facebook. So what do you need if you want to be a gaming YouTuber? Gaming experience? Script writing ability? General knowledge of the medium? Nah, fuck all that shit. Just stand in front of a wall of game boxes and never talk or play any of them. Bonus points if you stand in front of several thousand pounds worth of games and beg your viewers for 500 pounds. It's not the use of a wall of games as a background that pisses me off. It's that despite showing all these games in the background, 
They are never the subject of any of the content. They end up with shit tier click-based nonsense or just being the same reaction content you can find everywhere else. In the case of these two, they're basically the same channel. These people have good games. You can see them, but they end up delivering an endless stream of throwaway reaction videos instead of quality content. Pumping out shitty reaction videos to news stories you read on IGN the day before is lazy, low-tier content. It's crap, but it's not harming anyone. What does harm people is shit like this. People who help promote not only the scam that is Wata, but help push up retro game prices to the point where some prick is trying to sell Street Fighter 2 on the SNES for six grand. Now look, I understand some older titles are gonna start fetching high prices. You get a really good game which had a very limited print run, supply and demand kicks in, and yeah, of course, some games are gonna start fetching way above their original retail price. But when we are at a point where people think they can get almost $600 for fucking Radical Rex on the Sega CD, something has gone badly wrong. Now you might say, but if someone wants to blow over a grand on Sword of a million, it's their money, and they can spend it how they wish. Sure they can, but don't be surprised when we get to a situation where people assume all retro games are worth good money and start asking for stupid amounts for the shittiest games. Oh no, don't worry, because we're already there. Now, I'm not going to get into the world of screaming Roblox content creators because that's all stuff created with little kids in mind, so it seems a little bit silly to criticise. But not everyone on this platform traded away their integrity to please the algorithm, so I want to give a shout out to a few guys that would rather produce quality than give in to clickbait. GTV Japan does nothing but high quality, interesting videos on gaming topics you won't see anywhere else easily one of the best creators on the platform. Subscribe to him, like him, and whatever the fucking bell does, do that too. Mad Season Show is someone I know from when we both used to make World of Warcraft content. Like me, he's moved away from that and into new territory. He puts in a lot of effort and it shows in the quality of his work. Luke Morse, now here's a guy who's either showing you great guides on how to repair arcade PCBs or he's actually playing genuine arcade arcade hardware and really enjoys what he plays. Although I think his guerrilla filming technique of just sticking a camera on the side and not bothering with any sort of capture hardware is him just uploading videos for fun and not taking any of this at all seriously. But this also means he's just having fun recording videos and that shows him what he uploads. And at the end of the day, that counts for much more than a highly polished, well-edited piece of footage. And that seems like a good note to end on. Bye.